there guys welcome back to the channel thanks very much for joining us again today i will be showing you how to link wix to godaddy domain today so how to connect a website that you've built in wix to a domain name or a url that you've purchased in godaddy so it's quite a simple process um, but to do so you will need to have bought the premium plan for wix so in order to link it to a domain you need to have bought any versions of the monthly subscriptions. Um, that's quite obviously easy to do. You can just hit this upgrade button anywhere when you're on your site's dashboard, and that'll take you then to the monthly payment plan options. Obviously, I've got the premium package already myself, so it's not showing that. It's just showing what I can upgrade to, but each of the premium monthly packages will give you the ability to link to a domain name that you've bought, and uh, not just from GoDaddy. So what you'll need to do is go to your site's dashboard and then uh, near the bottom of the list, if you navigate to settings, once you've upgraded your plan and once you've purchased your domain name on GoDaddy, this is what you'd do to link the two of them together. So here you can see uh, uh, domains as an option. You'll need to click that. And then I've already connected my website to a domain name and you won't have any of that information here. Um, what you will need to do is hit this little button up the top here. So that will take you then through the wizard that will allow you to make the connection. So you need to add an existing domain and then connect to a domain that you already own. So obviously, you know, you've already purchased your domain on GoDaddy. Then it will prompt you to type that in. Um, I'm not going to go down the road of doing anything legitimate today. As like I said, I've done my link in already but i can still show you that process and then once you've typed your url in ensure that it is uh, accurate and correct hit let's go it's then saying that this website is already owned and obviously you know it's owned by you and then you can just confirm that yes it is you that owns that um domain once you've then confirmed that you do indeed own that domain it'll take you to this uh, page then where it tells you it's going to take about five minutes, but once you've done your part, um, the change could take up to 48 hours to take effect. Okay, So it's not something that you can check immediately. Um, to update what's called the DNS servers can take up to 48 hours. Okay, um, So if you hit start, and then it prompts you to do what I'm about to, obviously, is to log in to your domain provider. So that would be GoDaddy for you. Okay, So open a new tab go to GoDaddy and log in, okay? And once you've done that, you just come back here and then you confirm that you have logged in. Um, what you'll need to do then is on your GoDaddy dashboard or your when you log into your account, you should see your domain name that you've purchased appear like this. It won't have the red selection around it, obviously, um, just to highlight your attention. You need to navigate to the domain that you want to connect and hit those three little dots there to access the options. And then that's where you get to this option here, which is called Manage DNS. So what we're going to do is take information from Wix and use that to connect these two platforms together. It's done through a system called DNS, okay? So you don't really need to understand what that all means to do it. As long as you follow this process, it'll happen. But what you're doing is kind of updating these two addresses which are called dns name servers and using that as information to point these two things at each other um so if i just close that if you then say you confirm you've logged in you found your domain setting so once you click uh, that button there manage dns that will take you to this dns management page okay and then obviously you want to change the name servers that's what they're referred to and there they are there those two addresses that are labeled as name servers. So if you hit that change button on your DNS management page in, in GoDaddy, and then you want to enter your own name servers. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll copy them from Wix and then paste them in to uh, GoDaddy to connect the two things. Uh, so obviously you want to enter some custom ones. And then that should take you to this page, which is the DNS management page. And all you need to do then is paste the two addresses from Wix here. So you'll go into Wix, you find your domain settings, and then you've confirmed that you found the name servers, as you should be able to see them there. And then on your domain provider site, you need to replace your current name servers, so the ones that are on GoDaddy, with the ones that are here. 
Okay, so those are my custom name servers, um, and that will allow Wix and GoDaddy to communicate essentially. Then, okay, so t you can copy them one at a time. Um, obviously, the shortcut to do it is built in there, so I'll just hit copy, and then I would paste it into that field back to Wix, copy the second name server, and paste that into the second field, and then hit save. Okay, so make sure you do use a copy and paste to avoid any human error. Um, and obviously, you know, there's no way of getting that wrong because you don't have to make a selection, it kind of copies it for you. And um, once you've done that then, and you hit save, you'll get this dialog box, and it says, you know, it's a bit risky because it could potentially lead to your site disappearing, and then you consent and continue. And then once you've done that, and you hit, I've replaced my name servers here, that will verify it in Wix. And it should then inform you that it can take up to 48 hours to take effect. So you can, um, you know, keep checking it during that time. And then like it says there, 48 hours to connect that one. Um, obviously that's not gonna work. I've just used that for demonstration purposes today, okay? But, um, and it gives you then the, the date at which that should occur. Okay, and then if you hit track domain status, it takes you back then to the domains management page. And that concludes our video tutorial. If you want to get traffic and sales to your website for free, then be sure to click the link in the description below. I've dropped a link where you can get unlimited free Google ads to drive traffic and sales to your website. It's 100% free and very easy to do. It's also completely legal for those of you who might be wondering. So if you need free traffic and sales to your website, claim your free ads down below. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more, give us a subscribe and like the video. And if you've got any ideas for future videos, leave them as a comment below as well. Thank you very much.